In this paper, we propose a new algorithm to control the formation and movement of a crowd in real time using a deformable mesh. Using a multi-touch device, individual vertices, a varying number of lines, or whole areas of the mesh can be deformed to find various shapes or specify motion of the crowd. In previous formation control approaches, characters have a fixed relative goal point in the crowd throughout the simulation. If perturbed by the environment, characters may not be able to reach their goals due to the inflexible nature of the formation control. We allow the characters to dynamically reassign their goals in the final crowd shape. This enables the characters to follow the mesh more effectively, even if they collide with external obstacles. Motion data is applied to the scene by creating patches. The average speed of the motion data indicates how fast a character can travel through this part of the environment. The speed values are applied in the cost metric used to solve for the character's goal positions. White areas indicate speed values of 1, while red and blue areas indicate values above and below 1, respectively. The cost to reach the highlighted character's formation position increases smoothly with distance from the character's location. Note the effect of the climbing patch on areas further from the goal. The crawling patch creates a high cost towards its center, as characters would need to move slowly to exit this patch. The obstacle creates an infinitely high cost to reach the goal, as it applies a value of zero to the speed field. We now show how the field changes depending on the goal location in the crowd formation. Our system is able to transition between different formations quickly and accurately. Here we see the formation change to an arrow shape that deforms automatically to pass easily through the environment. Assigning goal positions of the characters with the mass transport solver produces smooth formation transitions with minimal congestion. Our system allows manipulation of small details in the formation to produce visual effects or achieve certain tasks. In this example, the user opens and closes the mouth of the Pac-Man whilst moving it through the environment to collect some items. The user controls a crowd to pass through a dense woodland area modelled with small obstacles and motion data patches. Each patch applies the average travel speed of the ducking motion data to the character's movement. A feedback term, based on the character's distance from the formation, is applied to the user's constraints. This helps to keep the crowd close to the formation throughout the movement. Here we see the crowd passing through an environment with small and large moving cars. The mesh deforms in reaction to the obstacles and quickly returns to the user's desired formation. Jumping motion patches are placed at positions of the smaller cars. In this experiment, there are multiple paths that the crowd could follow. Using the basic gesture, the user can define where and how the crowd passes through the pathways. Notice that although the user does not explicitly specify the movement of individual characters, they fit into different pathways automatically. Here we show a similar example involving narrower pathways. In this case, the user gestures to move the crowd through the central passage. When this route becomes too congested, some characters choose to move through the slower side paths. A user is able to easily specify the motion of a large number of characters in a complex scene containing a variety of different objects. Here we see a hundred characters passing through an obstacle course. With just a single continuous gesture, the user can define the route of the crowd through the environment. Motion data patches can be positioned in the scene to represent the obstacles the characters must pass through. Even with such a complex environment, the crowd can still move easily through narrow areas and traverse various objects whilst following the instructions given by the user.